Let's talk about Breakout, a Toronto game convention with the Hungry Gamer. That was terrible. That's, I say you keep it. <laughs>
board games, and I still had my son. That's right, at home. Brian's children. Yes. His favorite thing is board games. Yes. Not you. My son was living at home at the time, so I could play board games with him. Clean your room, kid. He's not living at home anymore, but he <laughs> should clean his room, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he should definitely. So, so this is your room. first experience. So, what, how's it been so far? Uh, the staff here are amazing and super helpful in kind of giving everybody the lay of the land. I got introductions to designers and publishers, mm -hmm. and and uh, got copies of re well, lots of review copies of games. I think I'm I'm good through the summer. You're good. I, I've, I've got I've got no copies of games <laughs> since I've been here. I've gotten so many. Well, you've got promises. Of copies of games that are going to come. That's to you, you know that's now. true. We're, we're going to talk about it in tomorrow's thing of a thing of of, of a game I just secured as we're going through. But yeah, so this ad I have to point, I will point out for everybody watching, the woman in charge of media, Yvonne, has been the has one of the nicest humans I've ever met. I got here and she's like, "We're taking you on a tour," and I was like, "Okay." And I was expecting, I was like, "Yeah, okay." So here's the map. And here's the place, here's right. the place, do you want to go here? But no, she walked us everywhere. Yeah. She was telling, telling me uh, Kevin and I stories. Like, just so sweet. So I, I've been having a blast. So for those of you who aren't, I've done a lot of conventions. This is a, a smaller size convention. It's not a huge dealer hall. They're kind of, the dealers are all kind of spread out through the hallways mm -hmm. as opposed to a big room. Lots of games you can play, lots of RPG stuff going on. Oh, they have a library where you can sign yeah. out games. And, and, and play to win. And signs that you can hold over your head mm -hmm. to say, someone please teach me this game. Yep. Yeah, it was a funny, the, actually yesterday while we were playing Sale, we went to sit down to, to play, and Kevin and I were learning it, and there was a guy playing uh, Kinfire Delve. Mm. He was just setting up, like, it was literally in the shrink. And I, had him, I, was like, I was like, would you like me to teach you that? Because Kevin was going to learn how to do Sale. And this is an all-play game. It's very easy to play those games. Yep. And he was like, no, 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 I got it. I was like, okay, well, if you have questions. And he's like, fine. And then he's going through, and I, I would glance over, and I'd see they're struggling with something. But I was like, no, you know, keep your American put away. <laughs> right? like, just keep it put yeah, away. You don't want to butt in. Nope, nope, just let them. And then they were going, and then I'm like focused on the game. And out of nowhere, like, I get tapped on the back, and it scared the crap out of me. And he's like, so can you explain this to us, please? And I was like, absolutely. But... It was great, you know, just but the, the, that feeling of openness that he wasn't afraid to yeah. come ask and like, you know, inter interject. Um, yeah, I, I'm having a great time so far for as far as, so if you're in the Toronto area, is this going to go up tonight? When's this thing going to go up? Uh, tonight, yeah, we can put it up tonight. Yeah, sure. so if you're, in the, if you're in the Toronto area, you got one more day, you get over to Breakout Con, walk around with Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Brains himself. <laughs> I am around, <laughs> and he'll he'll probably get review copies of them. I don't know. Well, so what? Well, you, so what? What would you say the best game you played yesterday was? If you, you got to pick one. Oh my god! And gosh. now, I mean, we're gonna go, go do boards and brews. We're gonna talk about this later. It might all change. But mm -hmm. if you had to pick the best pure fun thing from yesterday that you did, well. I did. You can say Lightspeed Arena. It's all right if you well, want to say Lightspeed, that. Well, Lightspeed, yeah, we didn't even mention we oh, played we Lightspeed Arena. Oh, we forgot that, yes. That's right. Oh, my gosh. So Lightspeed Arena is a ridiculous game <laughs> where everyone has little spaceship tiles with lasers and sometimes shields, and you've got eight seconds to move these things around the table, and then wherever they end up is where they're going to fire. And then there's an app that takes a picture of the board, and then you replay a video of your space battle, and it's just nonsense. It's way too fast <laughs> to really plan much of anything out, especially the first time you ever play yeah. the game, uh, but you can play the whole game in five minutes and then watch a video of everything that yeah. you messed up along the way. I that was a good time. Anything, yeah. But I will say, I did clean house yeah, yeah. in Mori. Oh, it, in Mori. Oh, I thought you were it, talking about that you, cle you cleaned house in Lightspeed oh, Arena, too. Oh, I did not clean house in Lightspeed Arena. Well, I was last place every time. Well, that was Kevin. Kevin cleaned house right. in Lightspeed Arena yeah. because speed games are far from my forte. So what executive function is it? What exactly? For, for, for Lightspeed Arena. For Lightspeed Arena, okay. So it doesn't fit very well with executive functioning skills because those are planning and organization. You don't really plan very uh. much. It is a spatial game, but it's especially speed of visual processing. There it is. You have to quickly make a decision. You have to quickly look at what's on the board, and you have to very quickly move that piece to take your hand off when the buzzer goes. It, it was bananas. It's so. the worst moment too. He's like, no, no, no I yeah. have to. Yeah. You have to go on. Great games to frustrate perfectionists. Yeah. No, really, <laughs> great games for perfectionists to play to kind of get a handle on that feeling of it's not good enough, it's not perfect. Yep, yep. All right, but so, so you're, so but you're listing Mori. I'm your listing Mori. Now, is 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 Mori the very best game that I played, 
or is Maury the most fun that I had? I got to teach yeah, you guys a game mm -hmm. that, that I really like that you hadn't played before, and I love trick takers. So what am I going to? Yeah. So so that that's at the moment when I'm going to go. I'm going to say. When we played Lunar Rush last night. That was a night, great time. And we got to, I got to, uh, Kevin had never actually played. And Brian hadn't played with the Moon Wonders expansion uh, right. module. And for me, that's my favorite way to play the game. I'm terrible with it with the Moon Wonders module. I'm very good without that module. <laughs> I got dead last by a lot. But there was a moment. So if you don't know Lunar Rush, you're bidding cards to pick your turn order to begin with. And for the first five turns, the Canadians were living in the same brain because every turn they put out the yeah. exact same card. Kevin and, and finally, I were on the same page. Yeah. I've never seen that happen no. before. You've got a choice of, well, four Five, cards yeah. after the first yeah. turn. You've got a choice of four cards, and we pick the same one again and again and again and And then again. finally, Kevin pulled one back and said, we're not doing this again, and he changed it, and he changed it from the same thing it was supposed to be, and then... What happened? Uh, do you remember? Oh my god. So we were going to play the same yep. card. His instinct was to play the same card that I played. He took it back, he changed it to a different one, and he said immediately before, I was about to say <laughs> this, that he had to pull a George Costanza mm -hmm. and go against yep. his instinct. And, and uh, he that, just beat me to it. We were that, on the same page. Guys, it was so, so weird. It was almost creepy. It was like Children of the Corn. Or the, of the maple, <laughs> was like, it? And I've never met Canadian Kevin before. No, no it was so crazy. So, anyway, so that was probably my favorite moment, just because it was ridiculous. And then I was super happy that Kevin won that game because he doesn't usually play that type of game. It's not his favorite right. type, but he enjoyed it. So, I'm gonna go. That's with That's a game I really enjoy. It was my number one game of last year, right. so I really do enjoy that. But I had to say Maury. Oh yeah, because I won. Well, you know, I always look at uh, talking about cons, and when I talk about games. When I rank these things, it's never about what game is the best, because you're playing it one time in a weird yeah. situation. I always rank them as, what did I just have the most fun mm -hmm. at? And you know, some, sometimes a game you love, it's, it's not always fun. But in this case, it was. In this case, but, it was. Know. Every game that I played yesterday was a, was yeah. a lot of fun. I, meant, I didn't mention, there was another trick-taking game that I played Oh, yesterday. that's right. Oh, they're going to want to It was a prototype yeah. uh, called Beautiful Balance, which is a game where everyone's cooperating as wizards, and you're trying to bid on which specific cards you're going to win. Oh. And you want to make sure everybody gets their card in order to earn that the most points. That sounds terrible to me. I'd be terrible. <laughs> well, we, well, we did okay. You did all right. We oh, did. It's cooperative? It's cooperative. Oh, I do So like there's a ranking at the you. end. You flip over this card, and it says if you get 12 to 15 points, you're superior. Well, we were never superior. You were not superior? No. We were good the first time, but great the second time. You're always great. Well, I, I always feel that way. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, that, that was the perfect out. <laughs> <laughs> we could have quit right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll give you a sign out, too. All right, so anyway, if you want to check out Hungry Gamer, which clearly you do, probably not. It's, we don't do smart stuff like he does. Like it's, I eat boxes. That's what I do. That's not healthy. But if you want to check it out, uh, just Hungry Gamer on YouTube. It's literally my face eating a box. That's how you find me. If you want to email me about something, hungryreviews at gmail.com. But you're here for the doctor's info. If you have any questions, if you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments section below the video or you can email me at brian at brainsongames.ca. Brainsongames.ca is the website. That's where previous episodes are already up. The new ones are going to go up there soon. If you want to find us on socials, uh, Brains on Games is the Twitter handle and the Instagram page and the Facebook feed, so we're all over the place. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to be notified of future ones, you can head on over to YouTube, click that subscribe button. And smash the bell. Thanks for joining us, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.